Hello everyone and welcome to this video in the Hatch Matched and Dispatch series. It celebrates progressive rock musicians' births, marriages and sadly, deaths. Today it's the turn of Mike Oldfield who is 70 years old today. To celebrate I'm going to be reacting to the song Sentinel. Now if you are new to progressive rock, Mike Oldfield is a British musician and composer who is known for his innovative and eclectic style. Sentinel is a track from his 1992 album Tubular Bells 2. Let's play the track and I'll be back after to discuss a little more. Mike Oldfield's known for playing all of the instruments himself. Beautiful piano playing. This is a variation on the original Tubular Bells theme for those that remember. Quite a wicky bass line going on in the, in the background there for you. One instrument he does make use of quite a lot is, is the vocal side, not his. He does use the voice very effectively. Imagine um, the artwork of Roger Dean and the music of Mike Oldfield going together very, very nicely.
wide uh, variety of guitars and indeed guitar styles. You can hear them in this uh, excerpt. On the open seas now, in my mind. It's a lovely piece of music that was, wasn't it? So, Tubular Bells 2 was the sequel to Oldfield's seminal 1973 album, Tubular Bells. It featured a range of musical styles, including rock, electronic and world music, and it's well, widely regarded as one of Oldfield's best works. Sentinel is the opening track off that album. I love how the song starts off with the pulsing electronic beat, and then it gradually builds up to something more grandiose. The use of strings and choir is really effective here. It gives the music a kind of epic quality that I really enjoyed. One thing that stands out to me about it is how cinematic it feels. It's like the kind of music that could easily be used in a movie or a TV show to set the mood for a particular scene. The use of the different instruments and sounds creates a really rich and immersive listening experience that's just amazing. As always, Mike's guitar work is really fantastic here. He's such a skilled guitarist, and he really knows how to use his instrument to create the different moods and atmospheres. The guitar solo in the middle of the song is really a highlight for me. It's just so powerful and emotional. It's really beautiful. Another thing I appreciate is how Sentinel showcases Oldfield's ability to blend the different musical styles together. There are elements of rock, electronic and classical music all thrown in here, and yet somehow it all fits in together perfectly. It's the kind of music that rewards repeated lessons as you start to pick up on all the different details that are in there. This is one of those tracks that I could listen to all day, really. 
just so much going on here, the different instruments and sounds, the intricate guitar work, it's just, it's non-stop, it's non-stop. It's also a track that defies genre really and classification and it's the kind of music that you can appreciate on many different levels, whether you're a fan of any of the styles. But there's something in here for everyone. Mike Oldfield is one of my favourite musicians and Sentinel is definitely one of his standout tracks. If you haven't listened to Tubular Bells 2 before, I highly recommend give it, giving it a spin. It's an album that showcases Oldfield's musical versatility and creativity. I'll leave a link in the description to purchase the album or take advantage of a free trial of Amazon Music. Well, that's all we have time for today. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Hatch Match and Dispatched and the reaction to Sentinel. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the song. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel for more progressive music related content. Now, on screen is a link to a different video I reacted to earlier in the year from Mike. You won't want to miss that one. But thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.